63 minutes in, pumped up the field. And it's all Amania Beefield. Long ball up to Stord. But it's a fantastic save from Bosing in goal. And he is keeping us in it at the moment. What's happening guys? My name is Adam, I am a Super Swan, and welcome to Club 3 Episode 2 of the FM19 Brexit Manager, where Brexit means Brexit, and I'm showing you the transfer screen as there's been a lot of movement in and out. The transfer window is now closed, and I have signed some players to help with the squad depth. Now, I've gone with the, the obvious usual tactic of scouting South America because, let's be honest guys, Brazil and Argentina are going to produce the best players in this game, so we have raided both of those countries for some players. So we're going to start with Carlos Caetano, we got him in from Gremio for £1.6 million. He is a right winger because... We all knew that Lovren was going to leave, so he was going to help with the replacement for Lovren. He's a four-star current ability, five-star potential. He plays best as a winger, but I am training him to be an inside forward. And I'm also training him to have a bit of a left foot on him so he can cut inside of it. Because he's got all the attributes. He's got the pace. He's got dribbling, finishing, and first touch. He's going to be a brilliant inside forward. And I'm just training him to get ready for that position. We've got Burnt Bosey, who's a goalkeeper on loan from Schalke. I've also abused the loan market as well to get some players in. After Antosh's poor performance, I have signed him on loan from Schalke. He's going to be our first choice goalkeeper this season. Play sweeper keeper exactly how we want. And he's got fairly decent stats across the board. Three and a half star current ability, five star potential. We've got in Edgardo Boggio from Boca Juniors. I tried to sign him permanently, but he wouldn't come permanently. So we've got him on loan instead. He's a left back because we did lose one of our left backs in the transfer window. He's a three and a half star current ability, five star potential. He's got everything we need. He's got decent crossing. He's got decent pace. He's a fairly good defender as well. Ten tackling. Maybe not, but he's going to be the winger that we need on the left-hand side. We've got a loan from PSG, Moussa Diaby. He's a right winger. And he's had a very explosive start to life at Dusseldorf. He's had five games so far. Four games, one off the bench and scored four goals already. He does look like a peach of a player. Four-star current ability, four-and-a-half-star potential. He's a perfect inside forward on attack. 15 dribbling, 13 finishing, 13 first touch. Got pace for days. He's exactly what we need on that right-hand side. And we've signed Kelso from Flamingo for 1.1 million. He's kind of a backup attacking midfielder, but I am training him to be a striker because he can kind of play both positions there. Three-star current ability, five-star potential. I don't think we're going to see much of him this season. Lovren did leave the club. I accepted a £3.6 million bid from Villarreal. He's now with 9.25. He was kicking up a fuss. He was going into the press, slagging off the club, slagging me off. So I thought, you know what, mate, just go. And we've let him go for £3.6 million. Hoylberg has been sold as well, but he will be leaving in the January transfer window. He's going off to Leicester on the 1st. So we're going to keep on to him until January. Another player kicking off in the press. League table, since you're last with us, and we are top of the league, my friends. We are a game in hand over Nuremberg, but we are one point ahead. And since you're last with us, we have been on an unbeaten streak. We've only had one draw in between, but we've had a sea of green. We've started to come into our own. The tactics have been going well. We've had a, some very good results. A 5-1 win in the Cup. 3-0 win over Madsburg. 3-1 over Karlsruhe. I'm not saying these names right. 4-0 over Braunschweig. A couple of hiccups we drew against Re Re Regensburg, where apparently all the Regens come from. We drew with them 1-1. They got a goal in the 88th minute. 
wasn't impressed with that. But we followed that up with a 1-0 win over Darmstadt and a 3-1 win over Sandhausen. So we've got two games coming up today, both at home. One against Armenia Bfield, who are 15th in the league, and Ingolstadt, who are 4th in the league. And we've got Hoffenheim in the cup as well. And that pretty much rounds up what you've missed out on. So the first game is going to be against Armenia Bfield. And seeing as we haven't lost in, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 games... We're guaranteed to lose today. Tactics for the first game is as follows. We've got both singing goals. Zimmer, Diagni, Hoffman and Boggio at the back. Hoyleberg and Bidstrup in the middle. Carlos Caetano on the right. Koric and Sekat on the left. Dukesh up front who has been in the goals. Five goals in nine games. <sighs> Take a breath. So here we go. We're going to be having the first game game of the episode today if we win this game we will go four points clear at the top of the league i'm gonna give a i expect nothing gonna win to keep our good run going tell them we have faith in them they they they, they react well to the team talks and we're gonna get the game underway armenia b field they are in 15th place or so hovering just above the relegation zone we are at home we are the informed team what could possibly go wrong Five minutes in, and it's Beefield on the ball. They've gone route one. Ship block on the ball. Beats all the defenders, but it goes wide of the goal. Corner, 15 minutes in. I've just shouted to get creative and attack in. But Sekat, outside the area, has a shot. It's deflected, and we are 1-0 up. Yusef Sekat, the left winger with the goal. Heavy deflection. But to be honest with you, it doesn't. I don't care how they go in, as long as they go in cleared away. Seca takes a touch, has a shot, and it rustles in the top corner. It looked like it took a deflection, but we are one nil up. Nineteen minutes in, and it's Beefield on the ball, stored to Wafroch, plays into the striker. Nobody's closing him down. It's worrying me slightly, but with a shot like that, it's not going to test our goalkeeper. Coming up to half time, no further highlights. We're still 1 0 up. I'm getting vibes from that game where we drew 1 0, where we were 1 0 up right to the end, and then we conceded an 88th minute goal. It's a very similar type of game. We're only 1 0 up, but I am going to encourage the players. But I'm going to tell my faith in them to really hype them up. There we go. Look at the tactics. Dukesh is underperforming. I might bring Ganovlo on for him. Although we can't really play complete forward, but I'll put him as a... We'll put him as a target man. Why not? Seeing as we're going target man, I think we'll uh, we'll distribute the target man and we'll maybe go a little bit more... a little bit more direct to take advantage of the target man. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. We'll get the second half underway. Slightly more direct... I just want to find that second goal. Free kick. Pestos with a shot. Oh, it's deflected. He's in the box. And they've grabbed the equaliser. This was what I was worried about. See, because we're on camera now, we're not going to win 4-0 or 3-0. We're just going to draw instead. But Pestos with a free kick comes off a defender. And Wife Roch is just in the box. He's got so much time. And they grab the equaliser. 63 minutes in. Pumped up the field. And it's all Amania Beefield. Long ball up to Stord. But it's a fantastic save from Boasting in goal. And he is keeping us in it at the moment. It is all Armenia Beefield. And they've grabbed another goal. They've grabbed another goal. And what did I say at the start? We've got eight games without a loss. We go on camera. And we, we lose into one. Of course we are. Why wouldn't we be? Right, tactics. The, obviously, the, the the target man approach. I'm, 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 I don't think I'm going to do that again, to be honest with you. I'm going to bring it back to positive. I'm not going to distribute to target man. We're going to go back to the way we were playing. Out of possession. Or oh, in possession, we're going to go... Mm, no, I don't want to touch the tempo. Go a little bit more direct. Shoot on sight. Shoot on sight. Why not? 
who's underperforming here. Zimmer's on a 6.3. We'll bring goals on for him. Guys, do not throw this away. And of course, we don't get any further highlights because, you know, we have been playing very poor in this game. I, I just knew as soon as I showed this game on camera, we were going to lose because we've been playing so well and the players have been getting used to the style of football. So of course we lose when we come back on camera against the team that's 15th in the league at home. Why, why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? But it's okay. It's okay. We're still top of the league by a point. So it's not the end of the world. We've got Ingolstadt coming up next to a fourth in the league. They could be two points behind us by the time that game comes around. So, you know, we'll just bounce back. It's fine. We're going to have games like this. Nothing to panic over. We'll let them have their win. But a very, very disappointing performance. We grabbed the lead. And then second half, they just came at us. So, I don't think my tactical genius worked there, to be honest with you. We're going to give an aggressive. Not good enough at all. We've lost our eight-game unbeaten run to a team that were 15th in the league. But it's okay. You know, well, several, several matches in the row, but, you know, who's counting? I mean, look at the league table. We're still winning. We're still top of the league by one point. So, I'm just hoping we can bounce back against Ingolstadt. Some enforced changes for the Ingolstadt game as there's an international break and they, they don't think to reschedule games. So a few of my players are missing. The key ones being our goalkeeper's gone to international duty. So Wolf's going to have to come in in goal. Backline hasn't really changed. Zimmer, Diagne, Hoffman and Borgio. Morales and Louise come in. Diaby on the right-hand side. Stoger, Iowa on the left. And Dukesh up front. So really the main ones are if I can make my unavailable available so you can see so we've got we've got antosh away boasting away but strop away um our lonely guy away sekat away as well so a few players are not in the team but we, we don't need them it's fine it's fine it's single stat we're gonna get over our loss we're gonna go even further at the top of the league everybody's gonna be fine Everything's going to be fine. So we'll just hype them up. Tell them that they're awesome. And Ingolstadt, who didn't win their game in hand, so they are in 18... Well, they have four points. Start that again. Fourth place, 18 points. Second chance at home. Can we get a win on camera? Four minutes in. Throw in from Zimmer. Stoger to Ioha. Can he whip it in? No, gets it to Zimmer. He does cross it in, tries to find Dukesh. Morales is there. Luis... Edge of the area penalty ref. No, but Diaby going to pick it up. The man in form. Finds Ayoha, switches the wing. Zimmer's on his own. He's got so much space. But doesn't do anything with it. Unlucky. Susek. Free kick. Oh, Wolf with a save. He's come in. He's made the save. And everything's all good. Stoga with his free kick of his own. Oh, go on, Dukesh. Oh, he slides it. But it's not enough. 15 minutes in. Throw in from Zimmer. Borgio, little 1-2. Stoger, we're on the offensive. Can we find the breakthrough, though? Stoger, back to Zimmer. Whips it in. Go, Diaby hits the post. Diaby hits the post. That's the closest we've been so far. 20 minutes in. Throw in. It's been all Dusseldorf for the moment. Ingolstadt been camped in their own half. Iola with the tackle. Can we start the counter-attack? Comes inside, loses the ball. Diaby outside the area. Finds Borgio. He's going to take a touch. Crosses it. No, blocked. But Luis, edge of the area. Finds Zimmer. We're switching the flanks a bit. Crosses it in for oh, yeah. He's not going to pick that up. He does, though. Borgio. Come on, boys. Just find the breakthrough. Stoger. Morales has a shot and it's in the goal! Alfredo Morales makes it 1 0 to Dusseldorf. It's been coming. It has been on the cards. And we do find ourselves 1 0 up. But then we went 1 0 up against Armenia by field in the last game. And we all know how that turned out. Morales outside the area. Bit of a screamer. Makes it 1 0 to Fortuna Dusseldorf. 23 minutes, just after we scored our goal. Diaby comes inside. Lovely ball, Dioha, in the box. 
and he almost made it 2-0. We're on the attack. We're trying to find the goal. 2-0 I'd be a little bit more comfortable with. Stoga crosses it in. That's going to be another corner. Come on. We can find it. We can find that second goal. It's on the cards. Stoga whips it in. Oh, misses everybody, but cleared at the back post. 41 minutes coming up to half time. And it is Ingolstadt on the ball. Susek. They haven't had one highlight in this game. But they only need one. And it is 1-1. One, one. Agyeman Diwasi gets the equaliser. Boys, like, this This is Armenia Byfield all over again. Started off well. They get an equaliser. And then they're going to score a second goal very quickly. They've, that's the only highlight they've had in this game. Well, the only meaningful highlight I would think of. But it is 1-1. One, one, and we do go into the break. Level pegging. I've just noticed... Our former Cups goalkeeper, El Match, is on the bench for Ingolstadt. Right, hang on. Hang on. How do I... Right, we'll have to do the tactics first. So, I'm going to give an aggressive. I'm far from pleased. Because, boys, come on. We're on camera. Show me something. Show me something. Diagne's underperforming. We'll move Hoffman to ball playing defender. Diagne, you can come off. We'll bring Bournemouth on for you. So we're going to start the second half. We'll wait for the highlight to finish. I want to look at El Match. Our goalkeeper from Cups is on the bench for Ingolstadt. Diaby tries to run through the team but doesn't get there. Right, pause the game. El Match is on the bench. So what happened to him then? So obviously he's on loan at Cups. And then Ajax had him back and played a couple of games. They bought him for a million pounds. He has played this season as well. He's been their first choice. A seamel match. He's as good. He's better than Wolf, but he's not as good as Boasting. And he's had. He's hit his potential. So El Match. Nice to see a former player of mine in the, the opposition. But let's not get too distracted. We need to find a win against Ingolstadt. 65 minutes in, I'm going to change something. Uh, and again, Duck Ash has not had the best of games. Um, I'm going to move Iowa up front because Iowa can play complete forward. I'm going to bring Dukesh off. And I'm going to move Stoga to the left. And I'm going to bring on Korich. So a little bit of uh, maneuverability across the team. So Stoga's going to move on to the wing. Can you cross? Yes, you can. Awesome. And Iowa's going to go up front. We're going to go attacking. We're going to try and find that second goal. We started off the first half so well. And now we're chasing a win. And it's 74 minutes. Throw in to Ingolstadt. Raizinho. Crob on the edge of the area. It's 2-1 Ingolstadt. 2-1 Ingolstadt. We've had just two identical games. We started off really well. And then they grabbed an equaliser from nothing. And then all of a sudden, it's all them. Krob hits it to Kruce. So, we went eight games unbeaten. And then on camera, we get two losses in a row. <laughs> what is this? Demand more. Come on, find an equaliser. It's, it's all them now. It's all them. This is like the first half for us where it was all us and we hit the post and we just couldn't find the equaliser. And now all of a sudden it's all Ingolstadt. It's, it, are they just scared of the camera? I mean, I know we're missing a few first team players, but that shouldn't be an excuse. They've had three shots on target all games, scored two goals. And we're going to have another 2-1 defeat unless we score from this corner. Stoga whips it in. Cleared away. And that's the end of the game. We've lost again. 2-1 to Ingolstadt. I was really confident about this game. I, aggressive. You were not good enough. We've chucked away another lead. So two 2-1 two, defeats. We're still top of the league. But Nuremberg and to be fair, Duisburg could take over us as well. So... Disappointing collapse for the second game in a row. So two 2-1 defeats. And it does leave us still top of the league.
that Nuremberg and Duisburg could take over us in the race for the Bundesliga 2 title. I mean, look at that, right? So we had those two games on camera. We beat Nuremberg and lost to Heidheim. We went eight games unbeaten, seven in the league. And then we come back and lose two in a row. Cheers, guys. You're a fantastic influence on my team. Oh, my friends. So I think what we'll do is we will come back for the two games. Well, they're quite spaced apart, really. We'll come back for Kaiserslautern and St. Pauli. So we're only going to go another three games before we come back. Because I know it's like the World Cup, so the games are going to be starting to be sort of split up a bit, really. So we're going to come back for Kaiserslautern and for FC Pauli. So what will probably happen is that we'll win all these three games and then we'll lose those two as well. Let's hope a repeat doesn't happen again. But we'll show you the league table. So yeah, top of the league, but two disappointing defeats. But we are in a strong position. So we just need to make sure that was just a temporary blip. And we're going to carry on our good momentum. Leave a like if you enjoy, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2019 content. We upload the FM19 Brexit Manager every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 6pm GMT. And I will see you next time for hopefully a bit of a better episode, to be honest, because two defeats is not something we really want to watch. So we're going to hopefully bounce back. And we're going to, I'm going to predict now, we're going to have two wins out of two next time to make up for these two defeats. Thank you very much for watching.